the intercession is taking place at Brynerwin Hillfort. Hillfort is a place of authority. And what he's telling me about this fort is the summit of Brynerwin was once occupied by a small but strong fortification. This may have been the bear's den mentioned by Gildas the Wise and thought to have been the stronghold of Sinlas, the Red Butcher, King in Ros around the middle of the 6th century. Though there may have been a fort here since the Iron Age in Britain, the locality still carries the name of Dinaf from the medieval Welsh Din Earth, meaning Bear's Fort. The Kingdom of Ros extended from the Great Orm and the Credulin Peninsula to the Vale of Cluid and southward along the east bank of the Conway. Dinaf may have been a major political centre of one of the regions of Ros, the Comet of Uc Dulas. Only the faint traces of the limestone remparts foundations are visible today protruding through the turf and ringing the summit of the hill to remind us of its former importance and it mentions wartime activities. During the last war the wide viewpoint provided from the summit saw the, the hill in use as an observation post initially by the home guard and later as a wireless station. The shipping lanes in and out of Liverpool were important strategically and their strike threatened Merseyside. An aerial was erected on the summit with communication trenches to a structure at the base of the hill. Slight traces of the concrete foundations of these wartime emplacements can still be seen. Now the intercession. For the authority dealing with strongholds, satanic strongholds, demonic activity throughout the whole of the North Wales coast, right through, as far as I can see. Yes, from way, way over in Prestatin, right over. Even right over going to Anglesey. This is taking the high ground, the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. St. Matthew's Gospel chapter 12 and verse 29. How can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house? Then, St. Matthew's Gospel continuing, this time in chapter 16 and the 19th verse. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. St. John's Gospel chapter 8 and verse 32 and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you three O God Almighty God thou art God thou alone art God the God who has shown himself in Jesus Christ, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, and on the authority of thy word, the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, about first binding the strong man, and undoubtedly the strong man has ruled throughout North Wales for far too long. And upon this hill, this limestone hill, where it attracts witchcraft, I bind through the strong power, 
the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, the power in His name, the power in His blood, that the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ has utterly and completely destroyed the works of the devil and has made an open show of them. And I bind through his name, the name of Jesus, I bind here on earth these satanic powers, these demonic powers, even the power of Lucifer, I bind it on earth so it is bound according to thy word, it is bound in heaven. Every power of the enemy is bound now in heaven. And I loose, I loose here on earth the conditions, the conditions of the Holy Spirit being able to come and convict sinners of sins and loose from Lucifer, loose from the satanic schemings, loose from the demonic powers, that the gospel of salvation, the gospel of redemption of the atoning blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, shall be proclaimed in the authority of the Holy Ghost, that men and women will be filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. And sinners shall fall at the foot of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ, crying out, What must I do to be saved? So great shall the more the Holy Ghost be. Praise thee, O God. Have mercy, O God. We have sinned against thee and against heaven because North Wales has been, was been, been pagan. It's been heathen and it has rejected the gospel. O oh God, in thy mercy, I cry unto thee for lost souls. Lost souls, O oh God, for out a holy here that I can see in North Wales. And at an open show, now I know that you have been defeated on Calvary's cross, you devil. Because my Jesus died for sinners, and you didn't die for sinners. And my Jesus is still alive because he was risen from the dead and he's exalted at the right hand of the Father. Sovereign Lord Jesus, right throughout the whole here that I can see. For this, O Father, is the opening of the breach the breach of the coming in of the Holy Ghost because a strong man has now been bound and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ will cleanse repentant sinners from sins and there will be that mighty restoration of the work of God for thy glory, O Father, for thy glory it is asked. Not the glory of man, but the glory of God. For the power of the name of Jesus, for the power of his precious blood, for the power of his resurrection life, because he is seated at thy right hand, Father, having all authority in heaven and upon earth, and all authority now throughout the whole of the North Wales coast for you are glorified through the Son. Amen.